human behavior, the use of drugs. This is a very controversial subject, because talking about it means talking to the whole world. O mundo inteiro, né? Mas, é, eu participei bastante tempo do... I took part of an institution for a long time as a psychoanalyst, and I helped and I continue to help a lot of people who have used and used drugs. And it's obvious that everyone asks for opinions on what would be best in a psychoanalytic approach. As a psychoanalyst, what I can say is that we need to be exempted from everyone we take care of. The idea is that the person feels better and happier, and get on with their emotional life in a satisfactory way. So, that's the psychoanalytical way. When it comes to spirituality, that is my approach, of course it has to do with the energies we work with, and consequently, with the way we can improve or worsen ourselves, as reincarnating consciousnesses. Because we think life is just this, just this moment. We're here and it's all here. It's not all here. If it were all here, our existence wouldn't even make sense. But, of course, it's important to have information and never discriminate people. I don't think it's a good idea to discriminate someone because they do this or that. Everyone has their own way, which is individual. Evolution is individual. No one has anything to do with the other. And I think we meet with what we produce as consciousnesses. What we consume, what we eat, in some way, all our senses or our food intake. When I say food, it's in various forms, the energies, everything. It is what will produce a result in us. If you consume good quality things when I say good quality, it is reading good books, relating to positive and happy people, that's what you're consuming. The result is that you'll be happier, more organized, and able to do more productive things for yourself. I say this because when we ingest negative things, bad mood, anger, disorganization, all the difficulties that people have around us, it goes in and has to come out somehow. It comes out as fear, insecurity, some kind of personal unhappiness that we might have when some kind of crisis occurs. Drug use is the consumption of something that can harm us at some point, I think. But I always say I could be wrong. I believe that drugs are addictive, and every time you become dependent on something, you lose your greatest freedom. Oh, but it's good, it's pleasant, I feel well. Of course, of course, drugs do have a tendency to make you feel better. That's the idea. You end up getting totally disconnected from reality, most of the time, creating your own reality or seeing it differently. In the end, when we pass, when we see what the result is, we'll only see this result clearly if we are free from these dependencies. So, Drugs affect us in our evolutionary processes, for sure. What do I mean? They distort our energies, they take away our continuity, provoke the company of people or spiritual consciousnesses of the same level, so, you are kind of in bad company. I've never seen anyone who uses drugs, no matter how free they feel, no matter their resources, no matter how good they think life is, without an internal conflict. 
A growth conflict, the main conflict human beings have. When you produce happy, good, and real things, there's no doubt you will find yourself in a very positive way. But I believe drugs bring a temporary happiness, without continuity, productions that are always pre-maternal. I apologize, but that's how it is. We produce things that seem to be for the world, but, in fact, they are just for the ego, they are really childish. Big things, useful, that are universal, they are products of a much higher level of effort, in which the intention of the person who's producing requires them to be organized, to research, it requires a goal, and that they are things other than simply making people happy for a few minutes and then that's the end of the story. Drugs have this wonderful euphoric drive. Whoever uses them is very happy, at least momentarily. And then, they can produce all the pleasures because of the impression of freedom they get. But at the end of the day, when you settle your account, time passes and we have to remember that nobody is young all the time. We have to produce things for us to have physical, spiritual, and emotional maintenance until the end, because when you're old, what will be left of you are the shards of your dependence on something. So, it's always good to think about it to have a parameter of positive things. This is fundamental for us. I know that the things I say can sometimes contradict some ideas, can create some conflicts, people may not accept it, I have nothing against who uses it. Discrimination is something that should never be done in any way, any kind of discrimination. But how do I approach it? From the perspective of evolution, growth, human liberation, because we can't walk into a prison all the time. I see that society is increasingly going that way. What I'm saying is just a reflection to make us think about it. But I'm not saying I'm right or that I want to convince people. Everyone has their own thoughts, their own path, their own judgment, and that's what should matter. Everyone meets with what they are, always. So that's it. If you like the video subscribe to the channel. Also you can find the address of our website and our social networks in the description. Access our content and buy our materials to help us continue our work. Thank you very much. Você acessa o nosso site, adquire livros e CDs para que a gente possa continuar o trabalho e muito obrigado. Would you like to participate in a work of energy giving from afar that is benefiting thousands of people? Click on the link below for more information.